Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Christina and thank you guys so much for watching. So today I'm going to be playing with the new Laura Mercier Foundation. So her name is the Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. <laughs> That's a long ass name. But anyways, this is her. So since I was already grabbing the foundation, I figured I might as well try out the concealer as well. I didn't try these out when they first came out, so I figured now would be a perfect time. You know, cohesive video, you know what I'm saying? So these are going to be the stars of the show today. And... Don't worry, I still have some Valentine's Day vibes for you guys. So today, I'm gonna be giving you some pretty rich Barbie vibes, okay? Pretty rich, cause you know, pretty rich palette. And I feel like it's very Barbie-like, but I feel like this look is perfect for Valentine's Day. It's pink, it's not too crazy, it's very wearable, it's very fresh, it's very simple, very easy, and I think it looks really good. So if you guys have a boo-boo, and you guys wanna impress them for Valentine's Day on your little Valentine's Day date, then these are for all my boys and girls you want to go and do that so let's start so I'm gonna grab a Smith 232 brush and I'm gonna pop on its cashmere and I'm gonna use it as my transition and my crease shade and then after that I'm gonna use a Sigma E45 brush and I'm gonna use oh that's rich on my outer corner and then for my lid I'm gonna use um, princess cut and the reason why I'm breaking it down for you guys first is because I have a story to tell you and also because it's super simple three colors so easy right that's what I thought. So here's where the story comes in. So I first started wearing makeup because I was very insecure about how I look and my mentality ever since I started wearing makeup was more is less. So the more makeup you wear, the less ugly you will be. And when I say you, I mean me. <laughs> So that's how my mentality always was. So I'm always trying to put more and more and more, more on thinking that I'll look better and better and better, you know? But really after watching my YouTube videos, like after starting my channel and just like editing and watching myself so much for the first time in my entire life, like I've never stared at myself for so long ever because you know you're editing. So I was just like, you know what? Like, cause everything I do on my YouTube channel isn't for the YouTube look, you know, to be extra. That's literally what I wear every day. Like that's my, that's what I wear to work. That's what I wear on outings or errands or Costco or Target. Like that's literally what I wear when I wear makeup. Like I always go like full blown everything. Like it's either I wear no makeup or like I go all out. Like that's always been me. So after like editing and looking at like my videos, I'm just like, wow, you really need to like try and incorporate more fresh looks because you know, there's a lot of looks where it makes me look older than I am and I don't want that, you know? And it's just like a lot going on. So I've always been more is less. So now I'm trying to do more fresh looks, like incorporate more fresh looks into my everyday. And when you do fresh, you want to use less makeup. You know, fresh is less basically. So since Abyss only knows how to do more is less, I didn't know how to do fresh is less. So I thought I could get away with using one color for my crease and my transition because I wanted to use less, right? Fresh. So no, stupid me here is now putting fancy that into my crease because I needed a crease color because everything wasn't meshing well together. Like after I put down my cut crease, my lid, my outer corner, everything looked very separated and blocky. Nothing was like meshing together and blending and it just didn't look right. It needed something to tie everything together and that was a crease color, which was fancy that, which is why I ended up putting it in last minute. So yeah. Just, that was my background story. So now I'm putting on a eye topper from JCAT. So you guys can see that it's a very subtle difference, but it's super noticeable if that makes sense. So I really like that it added a little pizzazz, a little extra something something without it looking too crazy. So it was very, it was really perfect. So I really love these guys. I have a bunch of colors of these guys. So I picked this rose gold one because it was the closest to my lid shade. And it's just really pretty and it's just really subtle yet just it just adds a little something something and I really love it. These are J-Cat um, Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousses and you guys can find these at Ulta. Okay, so now time to talk about the foundation. So I have a lot to say about the foundation. I'm hoping I can summarize it and not ramble, so here we go. So as you guys can see, I'm putting on about like six pumps of foundation for my first layer and damn, that's a lot, okay? Usually you only need two to three and you're about good, right? So think about it. I'm putting on six layers of found, six layer, six layers, six pumps of foundation as my first layer. And by the time I'm done with this video, I'll have used four layers of foundation. So just keep that in mind. And while I'm putting on my foundation, remember to constantly compare my face to my shoulder because that's really going to be pertinent to what I'm saying to you. So, okay. So my first issue, okay. So with foundation, what everyone looks for in foundation is, um, what's the finish? 
um, what's the coverage, how long does it wear, and the shade, right? Those are the most important things when it comes to foundation. So let's talk about coverage first because it's obviously very low coverage. So I would not say that this is a light to medium coverage. I would say this is light coverage, period. Not light to medium, just light, okay? Because for me to get it to medium coverage, I had to use like four layers of foundation. That's not light to medium, that's just light and now you're just using a lot of makeup. Like that's, that's what it is, okay? But even though I did use a lot of layers of foundation, I will say it is very buildable and it is very blendable. So I have, um, a lot of sunspots and freckles from running in the sun a lot when I was in cross country, so blah. And then I also have um, some blemish scars right now during that video and actually still right now. So that's what I wanted to cover up and I have some uneven skin tone. So it just really wasn't doing it for me. Even with four layers of foundation, it just, no. Like it was still not covering it up. Like I'm not expecting it to cover up 100%. I still, I would expect it to cover up at least 80% of my sunspots and like only have 20% like peeking through. But this was like 60% was still peeking through. That's like, and with four layers of foundation on, that ratio is totally off, you know? That's just, that's just not right. So I would say it's very low coverage. So if you're someone that doesn't need a lot of coverage, then this is fine for you. But if you're like me and you need the coverage, it's definitely not gonna work for you. You're gonna be, you're gonna end up using a lot of product and that's not very cost effective. That's very expensive. You're using more product and it's also very time consuming because layer after layer, you're blending and blending, you know, it's time consuming, so no. And then the second problem I have, which you're about to, well, you can still see it now. Like if you look at my face, the foundation matches my, my the darkness of my skin, if that makes sense. Like the shade is correct, but the undertone is wrong. Because if you look at my shoulder versus my face, my face looks very dark and dull compared to my shoulder compared to my shoulder my shoulder looks bright compared to my face and then if you look at the concealer that concealer is supposed to be a cool undertone but that is straight up orange okay look at that that how is that cool to you in any way tell me can someone disagree with me and say hey that's cool and you're wrong like tell me that i'm insane because I, I don't think so. That's not cool at all. That's orange. So as you can see, so for for both the concealer and for the foundation, um, everything I say applies to the both of them, okay? Because they both have the same issues and they both like have the same formula basically. So the issue with Laura Mercier's undertone range is there's only three undertones, warm, cool, and neutral. Where's your olive? Where's your pink? Where's your, you know what I mean? Like it, it doesn't have any of that only has three and not only does it only have three undertones but they're also misrepresented as you can see from my concealer it's supposed to be cool but that was warm so it's misrepresented so that's bad so look so it has like a it has a letter next to each shade number so you can know what undertone it is so obviously it's going to be w n and c for warm neutral and cool so for my concealers i chose cool so one c lives up to its name it is very cool you can see it on my face and you can see in the container it is cool but 3c is which is the concealer i used at first 3C, it's supposed to be cool, but it's not. It was very warm. It looks warm in the container and it looks warm on the face. And this is 1C and this is 3C. So they're only one shade apart, but it's a huge difference. Undertone wise, undertone wise and shade wise, it's a huge difference. So that's just like really like what to me, you know? And then for my foundation, my foundation is supposed to be neutral, okay? But it's definitely not neutral. It is very yellow. So again, my shoulder and my face, just look at the difference. It's just my shoulder is so bright and then my face is so dull. So that's because my face pulls in a lot of yellow. So if you add yellow on top of yellow, even though the shade matches, if the undertone is yellow and your face is also yellow, it's just gonna darken your face and make it look very dull and just tired looking as, a, as opposed to like a cool neutral or pink, which will make it look bright. So since it didn't have pink undertones, the next best thing is cool or neutral. But like I said, it's misrepresented. So even though it says cool or neutral, it's still warm. So basically I got very assed out when it came to undertones. So that's something I was very unhappy about. And yeah, so coverage wise was a no for me. Um, undertone wise was a no for me. And then now time for finish. So finish, the finish is amazing. As you guys could see during the preview of the beginning of my video, my skin looked so radiant, just like 
kit says it would. It looked luminous, it looked radiant, I absolutely loved it. But to have to use four layers of foundation to achieve that result, that's just really time consuming and that's not cost effective. Like you're using way too much product, you know? Like makeup is already bad for you, like it, wearing makeup is already bad for your skin, but to wear way more makeup than you should, like instead of wearing one layer, you're wearing four, that's just like, come on now, you know? And then lastly, for wear time, usually when I wear makeup, I only wear makeup if I know that I'm gonna be wearing it for at least four to six hours. I'm not gonna put makeup on just to wear it for like an hour or two, you know what I mean? Like it has to be worth it for me to like destroy my skin and to put the time to put it on, you know? So before I even set my face, my skin was already, not my skin, my foundation was already starting to separate. So what, the foundation has been on my face for about what, 20 minutes? And it already started to separate. So that already tells me that once I set my face, the makeup is probably gonna last for about what, two or three hours and then I'm gonna start looking really oily. So I would say if you have dry skin, this is probably for you because this is a very lightweight and a very liquidy, light viscosity foundation and it's radiant and luminous. So usually with all of those adjectives, that's usually a foundation that's more for dry skin people because um, oily skin people usually our foundations are more like matte and thick and creamy and stuff like that so i already knew that that was probably what was going to happen but i think i didn't think it was going to be that bad though i've never had a foundation that separated that quickly on my face like 15 to 20 minutes like mm -mm. i know for sure that's not going to wear for six hours that's going to wear for like two or three and then you're done you know and that's with baking by the way that's with baking so it's definitely not going to wear well but like i said if you are the opposite of me then this is probably for you but if you have all the issues i have then this is probably not for you it's very low coverage like even the concealer is very low coverage i would use the concealer i would keep using the concealer for brightening purposes but i wouldn't use it for like coverage purposes at all but it is very blendable it doesn't crease that much it, there is creasing but it doesn't crease that much it's not that bad and yeah so that's all i have to say about the complexion products so hopefully that wasn't too rambly for you guys i just wanted to help anyone out who was considering purchasing this product and has the same issues i have everyone works really hard for their money and i want you guys not to waste your money you know i just if i can help someone out there not waste their hard-earned money on a product that wouldn't work for them then that's great because i feel like you deserve to enjoy your money not feel like you wasted it you know what i mean so i'm not a review channel but whenever i do try out new makeup and i feel like there has to i have to say something then i will you know but if a product works then it works so this i felt it didn't work so i felt like i really had to say something but i do have to say i really love the finish but it's just not worth all the the trouble i had to go through to get to that point and still my face looked yellow it was radiant but it was yellow so that was my issue but anyways moving on as i'm watching my video with you guys i'm thinking about like you guys can't tell, but I was literally scared shitless while I was filming this video. Like, whenever I film, I always watch um, Stephanie Sue. Like, I recently got into her. And if you guys have not watched Stephanie Sue and you guys know who she is, you guys should totally check her out. She is so funny. So she's a mukbang YouTuber. She is so hilarious. Like, she makes me laugh so hard. And I just love her personality. And it's just, she's just really enjoyable to watch. I really love her content. I'm not into mukbangs, but I really love her personality. She makes like she makes it interesting so i really liked it but the thing about it is like for some reason okay so since she's a mukbang youtuber her videos are like 40 minutes long right so within the span of 40 minutes she in her videos there's about four ads or commercials or what do you want to call them and the thing about youtube is i always thought that youtube was like parallel to its content so like let's say you're watching like a makeup video then the ads will probably be makeup related right it's not gonna be like cleaning supplies or something but for some reason her food channel okay i heard a channel that's all about food every single commercial was the same one that night okay so literally i saw this commercial like eight times it was this commercial about this movie about this um 
this boy. Okay, it starts off really cute. It's like, oh my god, congratulations on your new son. We just took his IQ test. He's such a genius. He's gonna grow up to be something like special someday. And then it gets like hella creepy because he becomes a demon and he's like this demonic genius. Like this creepy demonic genius child. And I'm just like, why are you doing this to me, YouTube? Like I film really late at night. It's like literally at this point right now as i'm like fanning myself and shit it's freaking four in the morning okay i was very very scared especially since i don't leave the lights on whenever i'm not in a room so my whole since i'm in my filming room my whole house is dark outside like i'm not gonna leave the lights on because i'm that's a waste of electricity you know what i mean so i was really scared because for me i'm just a very paranoid person i hate watching trailers movies commercials whatever that is horror because i can't take horror i can't take horror i can't take scary because i'm a very paranoid person watch this is the way i think okay the only scary movie i've ever watched was the grudge and that was like ptsd okay this is what happens if i ever see like a commercial that's like by the way i'm using sunset crush from the Too Faced pretty rich collection um whenever i see a commercial it'll cause these thoughts to occur so i'm thinking once i'm done filming i'm gonna walk out to my dark house and i'm gonna fumble around for the lights what if something fumbles back at me like oh shit you know and then what if i go take a shower and then hands come out of my hair like in the grudge right what if i climb into bed and then the grudge creeps up through the sheets because that's what it did in the grudge what if i need to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night which i always do and then as soon as i put my foot down something's gonna grab me from under the bed and then i'm gonna die and then what if i go on the toilet and then something sucks me down the toilet what if i'm washing my hands and i look in the mirror and then i see bloody mary that's what i'm thinking so basically at this moment you know i'm checking out my lip gloss and stuff like that but you guys don't know in my head i'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god i'm gonna leave this filming room and i'm gonna i'm gonna face the outside world right now and who knows what's gonna happen to me that's what i'm thinking but really all you guys see is me doing this with my makeup <laughs> but really i'm scared shitless but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one thank you and good night you guys